Do you want to know about all the fast cars in GTA 5? Well, watch this video and make sure you watch it till the end to find out about the fastest cars in GTA 5 for 2020. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Grotty X80 Proto. The X80 has been around for three years after releasing alongside the Cunning Stunts DLC. This concept supercar will cost $2,700,000, a hefty price tag even with no customization applied. The car looks incredibly futuristic and resembles some sort of Hot Wheels toy. This may be just what you're looking for, but if you want a more realistic looking car, wait for the models further down the list. With a focus on racing, the X80 is incredibly fast, but you can feel a little sluggish around the corners. However, after some time, you'll get the hang of it. If you're going for form over function, this is the pick for you. The X80 can take a while to get used to when it comes to handling, but with its insane speed on the straights, you'll be flying down the rest of the crowd. In GTA Online. So, I mean, if you don't like the look, then yeah, don't spend 2.7 plus million dollars for this car. Another negative is that it's not a supercar and completely dominate every single car. That's not the case. And I guess speaking of races, one thing I will point out, and I would almost say for racing, the T20 is still superior. So if you're looking at buying this car because it was going to be like an ultra Tesseract. The Tesseract is another car with a unique futuristic look. This electric powerhouse released with the SA Supersport DLC and is certain to turn head in races as you sail by without a sound. Coming in at $2,825,000, it is slightly more expensive than the X80, but you do get some added features. The customization is very in-depth, allowing you to make the entire windshield black and change almost every part of the car. Due to its electric engine, the Tesseract has incredibly high acceleration and top speed, however the handling can feel a little like you're on ice. This electric racer is a car you must add to your collection. If you can cope with the unforgiving handling, you'll have an incredibly fast accelerating racer on your hands, however it comes at a substantial price tag. Krieger The Krieger is based around the real world Mercedes AMG 1. Because of this, it has a very sleek and stylish design. Unfortunately, there is little customization other than removing the stock fins that come with the standard version. This can be replaced with a racing spoiler to improve handling and add a little flair to the look. However, the Krieger is not here for its good looks. It's known for its combination of great speed and handling bundled into one. After testing, it's faster than the Wagner S80RR in the Devasty. Unfortunately, it does come with a large price tag of $2,875,000, which is hefty when you consider how little you're able to customize the car. Devasty 8 The Devasty 8, the Devastate, is found wanting when compared to the other fancy supercars in the game. With little customization and upgrades, don't expect to be spending hours in Los Santos Customs choosing which body kit works best. Luckily, the car makes up for its lack of customization with its performance. It was the fastest car when released with the Arena War DLC and has great handling. Overall, if you're looking for a supercar which will dominate in races at a fairly reasonable $1,800,000 price tag, definitely look into this one. Cyclone Finally, we have the Cyclone. When considering price, customization, speed, acceleration, and handling, the Cyclone is a clear winner. At only $1,100,000, you'll have plenty of cash left over for any customizations you need. This involves spoilers, decals, and anything in between. Although there is nothing exotic about the car, it is realistic and keeps the player feeling grounded. As the car is electric, it is the fastest accelerating car in the game and excels in the corners, making it incredibly overpowered in races. Although it's not the fastest car, it can compete on short drag races. If you are new to GTA and need a supercar to compete in races, this is the car for you. With its modest price tag and great performance, you can argue the Cyclone is the best overall car in the game. Evidently, all these cars are very pricey. If you're struggling to make money fast, take a look at our guide. This brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. We'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.